Hello and welcome to Biocapsules. In this video lecture, we'll be discussing about bacterial conjugation. So let's start with the topic. Conjugation. Conjugation is a process in which one bacteria transfers its genetic material to another bacteria through a direct cell to cell contact means a direct cell to cell contact is necessary for the transfer of the genetic material between the bacterial cells okay now the genetic material which is exchanged between the bacterial cells is from plasmid dna i repeat the genetic material which is exchanged in the conjugation process is from plasmid dna so it means that conjugation is possible only with the help of plasmids okay now as we know plasmids are the extra chromosomal circular double stranded dna molecule present in the bacterial cell and each plasmid contains several non essential genes and these genes uh, provide several benefits and advantages to the bacterial cell such as providing resistance to antibiotics causing pathogenicity and so on now some of these plasmids are self transmissible means they can promote transfer of their own plasmid as well as other plasmids but not all the plasmids are self trans transmissible because some plasmid lack the gene which promotes this transfer function so such plasmids can only be transferred if other plasmids in a cell carries gene for transfer function and this another plasmid is called helper plasmid because this plasmid is uh, capable of you know mobilizing another plasmid okay now the bacterial cell which contain this transmissible plasmid is called donor cell and the cell which receives this transmissible plasmid is called recipient cell okay now uh, experimentally the conjugation has been studied with the transfer of f vector plasmid okay now the cells which contain f vector plasmid is called f plus cell and the cells which lack the f vector plasmid is called f minus cell now the question arises why this f vector plasmid is selected for conjugation uh, for studying this conjugation process so the reason is first this plasmid is transmissible means this plasmid can transfer itself from one cell to another cell or it contains the gene which you know promotes the transfer function and the second reason is this plasmid contains the gene which uh, synthesizes the sex pili i repeat this plasmid contains the gene which uh, is involved in the synthesis of sex pili sex pili is nothing but a structure which establishes a direct cell to cell contact between the bacterial cell okay now when the direct cell to cell contact is established between the bacterial cell the plasmid dna breaks at a specific site and this site is known as origin of transfer okay now from this site the 5 prime region of the double stranded dna is transferred to the recipient cell and this transfer process is accompanied by immediate copying of the template strand in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction okay now in the recipient cell the transfer strand is also converted into a double stranded dna and at the end of this process the plasmid dna strand in both the donor cell and recipient cell assumes a closed circular form okay now let's understand this with the help of a diagram so this is a donor cell which contains this f vector plasmid and this is a recipient cell which lacks this f vector plasmid now when the direct cell to cell contact is established between these two bacterial cell the plasmid dna breaks at a specific site and this site is known as origin of transfer okay now from this site the 5 prime region of the double stranded dna is transferred to the recipient cell and this transfer process is accompanied by immediate copying of the template strand in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction okay now at the end of this process the plasmid dna strand in both of the cells assumes a closed 
double stranded and a circular shape okay now uh, this process converts this recipient cell into a donor cell and now this donor cell also uh, now this donor cell also can conjugate with other uh, other uh, recipient cells okay now in some cells the effector plasmid integrates into bacterial chromosomes and such cells are called high frequency recombination cells okay i repeat in some cells the effector plasmid integrates into bacterial chromosome and such cells are called high frequency recombination cells this integration occur at some specific sites in the bacterial chromosome okay now when a conjugation occurs between a hfr cell and a f minus cell the hfr cells chromosome replicates and a parental strand of this chromosome is transferred to the recipient cell the replication of the hfr chromosome begins in the middle of the integrated effector and a small piece of effector makes it its way into the recipient cell this piece of donor chromosome integrates into the recipient dna and this new cell is called recombinant f minus cell okay that's all in this video lecture if you like the video hit the like button share with your friends and do subscribe my channel thank you